Good afternoon and uh, uh, warm-hearted welcome to you and uh, to the participants in this uh, little conversation that will follow. Uh, my name is uh, Kai Olsen. I'm a director, stage director uh, and a dramaturg, and I'm also a professor in stage directing at Oslo Academy of uh, the Arts. Uh, I had a premiere uh, last night at the National Theatre down in the town centre, uh, quite famous theatre for some people around uh, here, because I uh, staged a performance that I made together with uh, two Palestinians some years ago. The National Theatre later collaborated with the Habima Theatre uh, in the most disputed uh, case some years ago, and the National Theatre was also the place where uh, the National Apology uh, done by uh, Pia Maria Roll and uh, um, Marius von der Seer uh, was shown, that created a big international um, discussion. Uh, so it's a little bit strange to be here the day after the premiere, but I said to myself, um, after being in Palestine and getting to know more about the people, the culture, and the historical conflict, that I will never say no when asked to, to uh, participate in uh, something that might help them. So, thank you for inviting me, uh, Vibeke and uh, Marius. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to be here during the days, uh, <coughs> but you know now uh, why. Uh, the power of uh, the political potential of poetry and freedom of speech. That is what we're trying to, going to try to address here today. Uh, but before moving on, I will just introduce uh, our guests in the conversation. I'm not Weissmann, that you might uh, know. Uh, we will see her performance later today. Anat is a distinguished and great uh, Israeli actress um, in film and in theater. Uh, per Nuranger is uh, now my English, uh, but he, I guess he's the editor in chief. Would that be the right? Uh, the publisher. The publisher of Spartacus uh, Forlag, uh, publish house that deals with. Uh, uh, publishing, uh, amongst other things, uh, books that tries to discuss um, problematic issues in society. Next to Per is uh, Jürgen Lundsen, who is a distinguished literary um, researcher and also gender researcher. Um, and he's now the managing director of the Hedda Foundation an organization that tries to deal with and work with artistic projects uh, that deals with uh, democracy, human rights, and uh, gender equality. Finn <coughs> uh, we have just uh, witnessed the witnessing of Torbjörn uh, and Finn's um, uh, interpretations of uh, uh, documentary material by Israeli soldiers um, that we have just seen. Finn is uh, one of our most distinguished playwrights. He's also a scholar. Uh, he's very, very scholar. That man, he's a <laughs> Brecht specialist. He did a PhD in Brecht. He's now a fellow researcher at Oslo Academy of the Arts. Vibeke is one of the two main organizers of the, of the festival. Vibeke is a visual artist, a scenographer, and also I think she likes to call herself an activist. So thank you for coming this Sunday and participating in this conversation. There are two sort of topics uh, here. And the first one is uh, a case, one could say poem, a poet, that we will hear and that we will discuss, uh, and we will move a little bit from there into more sort of general discussion about the potential of 
poetry and uh, the situation of freedom of speech. The poet uh, is um, 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 Darin Tatur. She's uh, a young Palestinian poet that has published some years ago a poem, uh, and she has been trialed and is now in custody, I think is the right uh, English word, for publishing this poem. Uh, and uh, I will invite Aina to say something more. You know her, you know her case, you know uh, what this is about. So can you please introduce us to a little bit to the, to the life and circumstances and uh, the, the poem uh, that uh, that I has written. Yes, thank you. Uh, Darin, um, she she is a poet. She is from a little village near Nazareth, in the north of Israel. Um, the village called Drene. And two years ago, she published on Facebook. Um, a video clip, a YouTube that she edited, and um, it was um, um, images from uh, the occupation, images of resistance, and uh, the sound of, and in the sound you can hear her um, saying, um, reading her poem. Uh, its name is uh, Resist My People, Resist. Um, uh, this uh, YouTube um, clip had, uh, while she was arrested, uh, 153 um, views. That's all. Um, so these were the number of uh, people who were exposed to this poem. Um, and uh, in, um, it was uh, October 2015, um, uh, in 3 o'clock uh, at night, 15 uh, policemen uh, were knocking at her door. She, she was living with her parents. And they said, uh, she, she actually, she woke up because her parents were uh, waking her up saying they came to took you. And she, was, she didn't understand. She thought it must be a mistake because she did nothing. She didn't understand. And she told the, the policeman, it's not me. I don't know what, 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 why you are here. And they told her, you know exactly what, what you did. And they took her to investigation, and then she understood it's, it's the poem. And she sat in prison for three months, and then she, uh, they moved her to a house arrest, um, and she's still in a house arrest uh, till now, till this very moment. And she cannot um, she cannot publish her uh, text at all. Not nothing. She cannot not publish her uh, poems anymore or anything. She um, uh, cannot uh, get an access to uh, internet. Her uh, house must be disconnected from the internet. Uh, she has a. Um, Stupid phone? I don't know if you call it here. It's like phone without uh, internet. So she can only send... Uh, <laughs> not smartphone, stupid phone. <laughs> uh, so she can only uh, call people and write uh, SMS, not WhatsApp. So a phone. Sorry? So it's a phone. It's a phone. <laughs> only phone. Um, do you want me to continue and to, uh, because Just I, a little bit more to yeah. because I, I can uh, uh, say I can uh, tell how uh, 
uh, theater is um, involved in the story. Where then I, uh, when I got into the story, and the, the story shifts a little bit. If you Let's like, li listen to the poem first, then should we? Of course, yes. Sure. And you are the first one to uh, recite in Hebrew. <coughs> yes. Uh, the poem uh, that has the English uh, translation, Resist my people, resist them. We're going to hear the poem uh, first in Hebrew, then in English, and then in Norwegian. A little bit later in the session, we will hear uh, an Arabic. Arabic. So please add. It commemorates me. It commemorates me. Biorshalim. חבשתי את פצעיי ונשפתי את דאגותיי לאלוהים ושמתי את נפשי בכתי למען פלסטין ערבית לא די לי בפתרון של שלום להוריד לעולם את גלי עד אשר הורידם מעל מולדתי הכניעם לזמן שיבוא, יתקומם אני, יתקומם נגדם, יתקומם כנגד שוד המתנחל, ולך בעקבות שיירת החללים, קרא את המסמכים המבישים, המנציחים את הדיכוי, המונעים מאיתנו להשיב את זכויותינו. שרפו את הילדים החפים מפשע. ובהדיל צלפו בפומבי, הרגו אותה לאור היום, התקומם עמי, התקומם נגדם, התקומם כנגד תוקפנות המסתערב, אל תטה אוזן למשרתי השלטון שקשרו אותנו באשליית השלום, אל תחשוש מלשנות המרכבה, כי האמת שבלבך. חזקה יותר. כל עוד אתה מתקומם במולדת שחיית פלישות ולא התעייפה. אני קורא מקברו, התקומם עמי, התקומם נגדם, וכתוב אותי בפרוזה אל מול היריב. הפכת תשובה לשרדיי, התקומם עמי. It's coming next time. 